The great satirist P.G.A. O'Rourke once said that the entire Soviet system came crumbling down because of size nine Bulgarian shoes. People would wait in line for hours to buy anything in the Soviet Union, not knowing what they would be able to buy at the end of the line when it was their turn. And sometimes it was size nine Bulgarian shoes, which were useless to them because they couldn't trade them for the things they needed, like food. So the whole system came crashing down because of Bulgarian shoes. I think we may be headed for the same sort of thing with elite opinion in Canada. Maybe it's going to come crashing down over shopping carts. My colleague over at the National Post, Colby Kosh, recently wrote that there is a national shopping cart crisis. Every year, tens of thousands of carts are abandoned. They go missing. They're wrecked. And all of the experts that the CBC talked to when it was reporting on this crisis blamed retailers or shoppers. The CBC itself said these carts were straying away from the parking lots where they were supposed to be left, as if they could move on their own. But let's get back to the experts. The experts, for instance, in Thunder Bay said it was sociopathic shoppers who would fill their carts and then push the cart all the way home so they didn't have to hire a cab or bring their vehicles. Now, in an age which is also elite-obsessed, with carbon emissions, you'd think maybe they would get congratulated for pushing the cart home. But no, no, in Thunder Bay, it was a shopper problem. Most of the places across the country, it's a retailer problem. And lots of communities have recently implemented bylaws that require retailers either to have safety measures that keep the carts in the parking lots around their stores or hire people to go and collect the carts and bring them back. But not one of the experts quoted by the CBC said what is obvious to everyone. It's the homeless who take the carts. Sure, there are probably some juvenile delinquents who get out there and shove a cart down into a ravine just for the fun of it. Maybe they try a couple of rides down a hill first. But you don't see anyone in the numbers that you see among homeless people pushing carts down the street. In Edmonton, we have recently seen a sweep by the police of eight large homeless encampments. They are finding dozens of shopping carts in each encampment. And that doesn't include the ones that are abandoned in the river valley, down ravines, in alleyways. The problem is homelessness. But elites will not say what the problem is. You see this in all sorts of ways. We have a major spike in violent crime in Canada. Since the Liberals came to power and changed the bail requirements in 2019, there has been a 40% increase in violent crime in Canada. Yet the experts all say, oh, no, no, no. No, it has nothing to do with the fact that we are releasing more and more and more violent criminals on bail while we await their trial." They're not being reintegrated fast enough into communities. That's the problem. It's not the bail changes that are the problem. You see it the same with open use of drugs. Oh, that's not because we have safe injection sites and harm reduction programs. No, no, no. No, those are social pressures that are causing people to do that. We had a court case in BC two weeks ago that stopped the province from cracking down on open drug use Hard drugs, heroin, meth, fentanyl, in public parks and playgrounds. And the court said, no, it's probably a charter right for people to be able to shoot up where they want to. That's like the shopping cart myth. It's not the homeless, who all of us can see are the ones taking the carts. It's not the homeless. It's psychopathic shoppers. It's irresponsible retailers. And that's the problem with elite opinion in Canada these days on issue after issue after issue. They completely ignore what is obvious to all of us and stick with their woke, politically correct solutions. For Post Media, I'm Lauren Gunter.